the right to keep and bear arms. And I know that that issue is controversial, but let me explain to you why it is in the Constitution. In history, all throughout history, when a despot or a conqueror or a wicked person wanted to subjugate the people, if the people were unarmed, it was easy for them to do that. In fact, it was a foregone conclusion. The only thing that has prevented that from happening in the United States is the fact that most Americans throughout our history up until recently have always had at least a 22 rifle in the closet. And no one could ever successfully march against an armed population which believed in themselves. We've lost a belief in ourselves. We've lost an understanding of the Constitution. We've lost the meaning behind it. We don't understand what our country is. We don't understand what keeps us free. And the secret government is manipulating you daily into begging them to take away your freedoms. And some of you here in this room have been begging them to take away your freedoms. You've been asking them to take away your right to keep and bear arms, which is the only thing that keeps them from destroying the Constitution, declaring martial law, and forming this world, world order right now. The only thing preventing that is the guns <coughs> in our closets. That's all, because they would have done it years ago if it had not been for that. Many of you right now in this room have been screaming for the government to take away some of our freedoms in order to get the drugs off the streets. You've been saying, I'm willing to give up some of my freedom to get rid of this terrible plague. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it is your government who imports those drugs and who is selling those drugs to your children and has been from the very beginning. And the only ones that they ever catch or allow to be caught are those who are in competition with them. <laughs> this operation was put into place in the late 50s. It was organized by George Bush in cooperation with the CIA while he was president and CEO of Zapata Oil. Their plan was to bring the drugs in from Central and South America to the offshore oil platforms of Zapata Oil, from there to bring them into the United States by the normal crew conveyance and helicopters. Therefore, they would not have to undergo inspection by custom officials or law enforcement agencies of any kind. And it's been going on ever since. Today, the drugs do not enter this country by the little planes that they would have you believe on the 6 o'clock news, nor by the little boats that they say are speeding across the Caribbean. <laughs> the Coast Guard, ladies and gentlemen, and the United States Navy are not inept. Every aircraft that approaches the borders of this country from any direction is monitored minute by minute by the North American Air Defense Command. The drugs, ladies and gentlemen, are brought into this country on CIA proprietary contract aircraft and military aircraft and land on CIA facilities in the United States and on military air bases and Homestead Air Force Base is one of those bases where those planes land. 